Hey guys, Bankrupt Jojo here. Um, I hope you guys had a great pre-release. I did. Well, we're gonna go over everything we got here. This video might take a while, so if you want to see pack openings only, just skip forward. Um, right now, I'm gonna go over everything I got during pre-release. So uh, we'll start with F and M. I'm just gonna put F and M on here. Um, F and M. I think we were like fourth place. So we got an Encroaching Waste promo. Um, this is actually stuff I bought out of their book. I actually bought these two in foil and then took them out of my EDH deck, so that's why they're not foil. <laughs> the foil ones went into my EDH deck. Um, this guy I'm thinking about for EDH. Uh, I need another one of those, another one of those for my Legacy. Just don't have any of those. Finished up those man lands. Um, my play set of Entreat now. And finished up those man lands, so. Uh, that's what we got for FNM and for getting, like I said, I think it was like fourth or fifth or something. We got two packs, Born of the Gods, I just decided to grab. So we're just going to open all the packs at the end, I guess. So. Uh, then my next pre-release, I went to that night, uh, that midnight, we went to a bigger shop that I don't normally go to. Um, I, I guess I always go there for their midnight release, but I got some packs for random packs. So we're going to be opening these on our random pack segment. You guys can check that out. I'm not going to open those now. Um, let's go ahead and go over our card pool. Here is, I'm just going to flip through the cards we had in our pool real quick. I actually, um, during this, kind of felt like at the beginning, like I should just, just you know, <laughs> I'd be better served dropping. I really just didn't feel like I had a great deck. But we actually uh, came in second place out of, uh, like I said, it's a bigger shop, so we had like 32 people there. There was actually a local shop um, by me doing, uh, giving away a free time walk. So they had like 100 and something people. Which honestly would be awesome, but just sounds miserable at the same time. I mean, a midnight pre-release with 100 people? God, how long would that take? I mean, like 10 rounds or something? I don't know. We had 6 rounds, so... And, uh, yeah, I didn't get out of there till like 7 in the morning. I mean, if you had 100 people, it's gotta be later. It's gotta be like 9 in the morning, 8 in the morning? I don't know. Sounds awful. <laughs> and, of course, you get the little spin-down die with the white. Uh, we chose white, sorry. Go ahead and show the front of it. Should have done that first, but yeah. Forge and Glory. I'm sure most of you have seen it if you went. And here's our deck we built. This is the second place deck. The only deck we lost to was the first place. Um, a couple of people accused him of cheating. Not to his face, of course. Of course, everybody does that with people that have good pulls. They just want to, you know, oh, well, they cheated. I would never accuse, at least at that shop, but I will say <laughs> he had a lot of good cards. Um, just when I played him, he had an Elspeth, a Boon Seder, a Silence of the Believers, um, and there was one other good rare I remember, but I can't remember what it was. With, um, I've only had three hours sleep, and my throat's kind of getting sore, so just a bomb and limited. If they can't answer him, you win, and just so good. Uh, and I also got a Prophet, so we played three colors, actually two. We played white-green, I have one island in here, and then I have a... Uh, and a Traveler's Amulet and a Voyaging Seder to try to find our one island. And believe it or not, I've had him like three to uh, three games, and every game I had a blue to cast him. I was so sure he was just going to end up in my hand and not do anything. But um, yeah, and it's a foily one too. Probably can't tell through the sleeves, but uh, foil. Uh, it's not too bad, but I, I know a couple times someone did that to me, and you know, I mean, I just kept swinging, paying three, so it worked okay. Launch the fleet. I don't know how many times. Um, two games I had this in my opening hand. One drop and I dropped something. I think it was like the 0-4 the guy with Heroic. And then two drop, drop something. So turn three, launch the fleets for two. You're attacking for four. Turn four, I had another launch the fleets. Attacking for eight creatures on turn four. Just sick aggro draws with that card. So real nice. Um, I know people are talking about him. He seems pretty good. I never actually got to use his trigger, honestly. So didn't get to experience it, but... Oh, one time uh, in my opening hand, I had a the Voyaging Seder, or yeah, the guy that puts things in the graveyard, and the Nemesis of Mortals. I played the Seder, and four creatures came down, so I played a Nemesis of Mortals on turn three. So that was that's the zero four drop for one I was talking about. So you think that'd be good, but he had removal for it. Unfortunately, it was still pretty sweet. <laughs> uh, and target creature, you know, it's okay, but it really didn't. I mean, I guess there was once or twice I it was kind of effective. Did get a temple, and we didn't play black, but I play any temples in my colors. There's another launch the fleets. Divine Verdict, great removal. Yeah, there's our one island. <laughs> the one island doing work. Uh, these guys are pretty good. Kind of expensive for what he is, but fine. Oh, Seder Wayfinder, not Voyaging Seder. Sorry, so yeah, I was messing that up. Uh, pretty sweet. 
Oh yeah, Fleece Mane, that was our only pull. We really, this whole pre-release, we didn't have shit for pulls. Uh, but Fleece Mane did work a lot of time. Uh, Traveler's Amulet. Oh, that's what that other guy had, actually. Uh, he had a Fabled Hero. It was pretty funny, actually. He had a Fabled Hero that he just kept pumping. I couldn't remove it. Uh, Fleece Mane line was monstrous, and he had one of the things that, uh, if it's not an enchantment, it doesn't deal damage. So he just, so basically my Fleece Mane's an indestructible hexproof wall. And he kept giving his things lifelink. I think he got up to like 30-something life. Just by hitting my fleece mane, not doing any damage, not killing it, obviously, but yeah, uh, no, that's not it. But pretty funny stuff. Uh, two one flyers were doing work for me, actually. I don't know how many games these things won for me. I think I had two of those. So I don't know. It doesn't look like a second place deck to me, <laughs> honestly. And even when I got Prophet of Crufix out, he really wasn't too useful. A lot of the times, my creatures are so early drops, I didn't even have creatures to play. I guess one time I can remember Prophet, and this guy was pretty sweet. Um. So yeah, I can't believe I took second place with this deck, but that was our second place one. And for second place, we got 16 beautiful packs of Born of the Gods I will open at the end of this video. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go on to our next one, which I got up for the new one. Not enough sleep. I wanted to go white again, but they were out of white. Everyone picked white, and there was only 16 people there, I think. So <laughs> everyone picked white out of 16. It's pretty funny. I felt like this card pool again was just awful. I did not pull any good rares. I actually started out blue, green, uh, blue, white, and uh, lots of flyers for me. Uh, put two two flyers into play. Um, this guy's pretty sweet. It's a flash, three two. I had two of those, so I started playing blue, and I played the first match, and then the first game of my second match, and just said screw blue, I'm done, and went ahead and started playing black. So. So yeah, I mean, you look through that, there's no good rares, no no bombs, nothing. Not even any big creatures. Both of my sealed pools, I just thought, were really lackluster. We did get a foil mountain, though. <laughs> look at that, baby. Oh, and a bird. A bird token. There's the blacksmith now, die looking much nicer than the white. <coughs> so here's what our deck ended up. After we lost the first two matches, um... Well, like I said, I lost the first match, and then I lost the first game in the second match. Switched over to black, even though I did lose that second game in that second match. So, lost the first two matches when I switched over to black. There's a rare. Uh, but won our next two games. That's pretty sweet. I mean, you know, it's, it's not really that great. Exile target enchantment. Okay, not bad. It's, I think it's going to be almost better for maybe like sideboard and constructed. Uh, Silent Sentinel, whoop de doo not terrible, but again, seven mana, not what I want. Uh, we got another Supply Guppy thingy, <laughs> Supply, Supply Line Crane, sorry. <laughs> uh, I should have read it. I <laughs> thought I knew the name, but no. Uh, read the Bones, so I mean, you can see we had some pretty strong black cards. I didn't get one of these last night, I felt like if I would have had that last night, we could have uh, potentially been first place dealing with um, the first place's threats a little better. Yeah. Uh, there's the promo we got, of course. I pulled a temple as my other rare. Like, come on. Yeah, so awful rares. Uh, this was actually pretty good in uh, one game. I think I only had it out in two, but really good in one game. So, I don't know. kind of feel like it could be like the top of a curve and it constructed something, maybe. And it constructed a like standard, potentially. Alright. So, for going two and two, uh, we actually won one pack. Yeah, this pack right here. And uh, they gave out free promos to everyone, another approaching waste, and a colossal well, because it seems like they always give a colossal well out, so. So we got 16, 17 packs of Journey into Nyx and two Born of the Gods. Uh, let's start with the two Born of the Gods from FNM. Get the old stuff out of the way. Overall, had a great time. So many, you know, so many fun people. And annoying people at the same time. <laughs> But yeah, definitely good. As um, far as Lightenment, Siren of the Silent Song, Dawn to Dusk, and Faded Infatuation, Aspect of the Hydra Foil. I don't, I actually don't play like any limited other than just during the pre releases and stuff, so. Uh, don't have a lot of practice at it, but every time I do it, I seem to do fairly well. I usually don't do less than 500, which isn't too bad. 
champion of stray souls, yeah. And hey, a foil great heart. Our card is so good. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, into the good stuff. Stuff I know you want to see, because I want to see it too. I am not going to read the uncommon. Well, I might read the uncommons. I don't know. Let's see what we get. An hour of need. Which one's that? Four Four Sphinx. Oh, yeah. I wish I would have seen that. It's a sweet card. Uh, Deserter's Quarters. Oh, no. It's not good. Uh, Brain Maggot. Oh, baby. First pack. That's so funny, actually, because uh, me and a bunch of guys were sitting around and, like, saying, oh, oh that one pack's going to have, you know, the Ajani or something good in it, and uh, all the people that got first are probably not going to pull shit. <laughs> and this is that one pack from the second pre-release I was at, and it was an Ajani. That's hilarious. Wow. Okay, I like Journey into Nick so far. How about you? <laughs> Much better than this Born of the Gods crap. All right, to the 16 packs. I already pre-ordered five of Johnny's, so I now have six to sell off. Hopefully they'll go up a little bit right when he gets out. A Crystalline Nautilus, I think. A Riddle of Lightning. A Swarm Born Giant. And a Hydra Broodmaster. Okie dokie. Not a terrible card, I don't think, but I doubt it will see any standard play. Uh, definitely would have liked him for Limited. <coughs> Pretty badass little guy. Little. <laughs> yeah, that guy's good. A one drop zero four, so basically just a yoke dox that has heroics. Pretty sweet. Uh, another one of those things. A Triton Calvary. A Agent of Erebos, which I did not see one of. And a Harness by Force. Strive. Gain control in any number. Oh, yeah, that card. Looks like it could be sweet. <clears throat> don't think so in, <coughs> in standard. Sorry guys, like I said, I've only been up three, uh, I only got three hours sleep and my throat is sore from talking and yelling and all that good stuff all day. It's amazing how loud people are at three in the morning sometimes. A Disciple of Deceit, a Hour of Need, a Pull from the Deep, and a Karanos, God of Storms. Sweet! So it's kind of funny, my second pre-release, I sat down and I'm playing my opponent or whatever, and I look over to the left, or I look over to my right, and the match that's going on is someone's got an Elspeth on the board, and that was the guy that won, of course, but, and then uh, someone's got a, and he's playing against someone who has the Karano, so I'm just like, wow, my fleece man is getting a little outschooled here, <laughs> right? <laughs> but I was wrong, I came in second, only lost to the Elspeth. A Quarry Colossus, I really just didn't feel like this guy was that great, and not terrible, but not great. I didn't play him. Hour of Need. Banishing Light. Sweet. Only got one of those. And Extinguish All Hope. With an Elspeth token, right? I think. So. Fleece Main did some work, though, a few matches. I'll say that much. He is still a good, good card in Limited. Ooh, that's so pretty. I want to see that foil. That looks pretty sweet. A uh, Fleet Feather Cockatrice, another card I did not have. A Eidolon of something, the kind of wannabe hate bear, but not quite, probably not going to be good enough, but hey. A Deserted Quarters, and a Hall of Triumph. That's what I need. I needed, I needed another one of those. I need two of those. No, I don't. Just kidding. Oh. Hello, Johnny. I've already seen you. I'm so tired. Another pretty bird. A Rolock of Abandoned. And a Crowan Linebreaker. And an Eidolon of the Great Rebel, which is pretty sweet. Uh, someone did play that on me in Sealed, and it was kind of a pain in the ass. I don't think we want any of that. Chinese Presence. I'll take that. Are you going uncommon? Need a play set of them? <coughs> God. Sorry, guys, I gotta take a drink. Just killing me. Ugh. Alright, apologize. I feel like I just got done. Just got back from a Kansas City Chiefs game. <laughs> uh, crude feeding. A chariot of victory. A Kiora's dismissal. 
And a Storm Chase Chimera. Oh, that's not a foil, but hey, it's a pretty sweet card. Disciple of Kamitra. Karamitra. Yeah, that's a pretty sweet card in limited. I'd like to have tried to play that, but I didn't get any, of course. Just complain about what we didn't get the whole time we opened packs. Sorry. <laughs> so many cool looking cards I wanted to play. A Armory of Aroas. A Forgeborn Ordeus, something, a Nyx Weaver, and a King Mark Makar, the Gold Cursed. He's sweet. I don't know if he'll be um, used or not in standard, but I really feel like he should be somehow, damn it. Maybe the Retraction Helix deck? I don't know. It's pretty sweet, though. Another one of those. I'll probably have to go through these to make sure there isn't any comms or uncommons I want I missed. Uh, thought something something reprisal, brain maggot, scourge of fleets. I don't think we've seen any foils from this from these packs yet. Huh. <clears throat> yeah, so it, first place at the first pre-release I went to won a box, so missed out on 16 packs. Uh, Dictate of Erebos. Hey, there's a foil, yay! Yeah, I like the Dictate of Erebos. I mean. Probably pretty sweet for Commander, which I did play a little bit before f and I don't get to play much Commander. I know a lot of people play a lot of it. Uh, Chariot of Victory, a Cure's Dismissal, Riptide Chimera, and a Dictate of Heliod. Heliod. Whatever. Boy, we just got all the thunder in the beginning, didn't we? A Johnny, a God. A uh, Disciple of Deceit. A Nightmare's in Nightmare Shind, Banishing Light, and a Battlefield th whatever. What is that? Thronum March blah blah. I don't know. Not even gonna worry about it. <laughs> but yeah, he's pretty sweet. I like him. I like him a lot. I'm sure someone's gonna brew something sweet with him. Alrighty. A Rolock of Abandon. A Felhide Purifier or something, a Leon in Icon Clast? Yeah, whatever. I did see this guy. What does he do? Destroy target enchantment, so that's pretty sweet. A spawn of Thraxus. That's the red promo. <coughs> oh. Hurt so bad, but it was so worth it. Alright. A Sky Spear Calvary. A Tormented Thoughts, another one of those things, and an Eidolon of Blossoms. I kind of really wanted to see that card and make a, try to draw some extra cards. Actually, in my second pre-release, it was ridiculous, man. Uh, uh, one, uh, The two last people that I saw playing, actually, I had to play against one of them. Uh, one of them had the God Akros, or the, the black-white one, and uh, Master of Feasts, and the other one had the Fanax and the Master of Feasts. I'm like, what? <laughs> Where do you guys get these cards from? <laughs> Armory of Aroas, Whitewater Naiads, a Spire Spine, and a Pathetic Flame Speaker. A Prophetic, a Pathetic, whatever. I'm not, in, not excited about that guy. Alright, last pack. Oh. Alrighty, guys. See if we can't get one more good thing out of here. A Whitewater Naiads, a Solitary of Heroes, Solidarity of Heroes, a Cyclops of Internal Fury, a Sentient Tactics, and a Foil Renowned Weaver. So, we got a bunch of good stuff. Let's take a look. One more time. Alright. Boop, boop. That's just a foil, not a rare. Uh, yeah, Kyranos, American Control. I'm going to give you a try sometime, baby. <laughs> I can't believe that was the first one. That's hilarious. <laughs> uh, Alright, guys. Well, I uh, hope this, uh, that you enjoyed this. and uh, I appreciate if you tap the like button. Um, let me know how you did at your pre-release. Uh, Alright, thanks for watching, guys.